quadratic congruences. The quadratic congruency x square plus 1 and 0 are congruent to mod p, where p is an odd prime has a solution if and only if p and 1 are congruent to mod 4. Now, to prove this quadratic congruence, we have to know some properties of congruences. What are properties of congruences? If A and B are congruent to mod N, that implies that N divides A minus B. And if A and B are congruent to mod N, that implies that A and B leaves the same remainder when divided by N. And the second property is, if A and B into C into D are congruent to mod N and C and M are congruent to mod N, then in the place of C, we can put M. And A and B into M into D are congruent to mod N. Here mod N is if same, then we can replace the terms which are congruent to mod N. Then we, we have to know Fermat's theorem and Euler's theorem. What did Fermat's theorem says? If P is any prime and P do not divides A, then A raised to P minus 1 and 1 are congruent to mod P. Wilson theorem says that if P is any prime, then P minus 1 factorial and minus 1 are congruent to mod P. Now, we have to prove the quadratic congruences. Now, assume that this quadratic congruences x square plus 1, 0 mod P has a solution at x is equal to a, where p do not divides a. Now, this becomes a square plus 1 and 0 mod p. We can write this as a square and minus 1 are congruent to mod p. Because we can turn this then minus here if we minus 1 and here also we put minus 1 then minus 1 into uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so a square is remains here minus 1 is remains so we can write uh, write it as a square and minus 1 are congruent to mod p now what did Fermat's theorem says by Fermat's theorem By this Fermat's theorem, we have a raised to p minus 1 and 1 are congruent to mod p. If p is prime number, they give that p is odd prime. So, p is prime number and p do not divide c a. So, here, p do not divide c a. So, we can write it a raised to p minus 1 and 1 are congruent to mod p. This is by Fermat's theorem. Now, How can we write this? a raised to p minus 1 can be written as a square into p minus 1 by 2. If we multiply this, we get p minus 1. So, we can write it is this time. 1 are congruent to mod p. Now, a square and minus 1 are congruent to mod p. So, in the place of a square, we can write minus 1 here by the property of congruences. So, minus 1 raised to p minus 1 divided by 2 and 1 are congruent to mod p. Now, they give that p is a p is an odd prime. So, which are the prime numbers? Prime numbers are 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5, 7, 9 is not prime number, 11, these are, these are the prime numbers. They give that P is 
odd prime so this is 2 is not there so 3 5 7 and so on these are the odd numbers odd, odd prime numbers the odd prime numbers are represent as p is equal to 4n plus 3 we can represent odd prime as odd numbers as or p is equal to 4n plus 1 if we put in the place of n 0 then we get 3 if we put in the place of n 1 then it becomes 7 S such a way if we uh, we can make odd numbers odd prime numbers similarly if we put 1 here then we get 5 a prime number if we put uh, uh, 2 here uh, if we put uh, 3 here we get 13 13 is a prime number so so on we can represent any odd number in the uh, type of 4n plus 1 or 4n plus 3 which is convenient to here we have to uh, this congruent equation has satisfied by which uh, representation either p 4n plus 1 uh, 4n plus 3 or 4n plus 1 we have to check it if p is equal to if p is equal to 4n plus 3 then what it becomes minus 1 raised to in the place of p 4n plus 3 4n plus 3 minus 1 divided by 2 and 1 are congruent to mod p now 3 minus 2 is uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 that becomes minus 1 raised to 4n plus 2 divided by 2 1 mod p now minus 1 raised to 2 to the 2n plus if we divide 2 by 2 1 2n plus 1 and 1 are congruent to mod p if we put in the place of n any integer we get odd number 2n plus 1 is a representation of odd number so any uh, minus 1 raised to odd number becomes minus 1 for example if we can see that minus 1 raised to 0 is 1 plus 1 this is even number if minus 1 raised to 1 is that is equal to minus 1 my 1 is odd number if minus 1 raised to 2 is 1 plus 1 2 is even number minus 1 raised to 3 is minus 1 3 is here odd number minus 1 raised to 4 is plus 1 that is 4 is even number so on so if minus 1 raised to any odd number then that is equal to minus 1 and 1 are congruent to mod p if we shift this to this side then we get 0 1 mod p if we shift here then 1 plus 1 it becomes minus 1 plus 1 is 0 if we add both side 1 then this becomes 0 this becomes 2 that is mod p this says that what what did this say sir what did this say sir? that p divides 2 no uh, or p divide this can be we write as uh, we we can write it as 2 and 0 are congruent to mod p p divides 2 minus 0 by the property of congruence p divides 2 this shows that p divides 2 but they give that p is an odd prime so p is an if p is an odd prime p cannot divides 2 so this is 4 p is equal to 4n plus 3 is not possible if we consider p is equal to 4n plus 1 then in the place of minus 
वन रेस टू पी मैनस वन बै टू वन कांग्रेट टू मॉड पी इन दि प्लेस ऑफ पी वी कैन पुट फोर एन प्लस वन देन वी गेट मैनस वन रेस टू फोर एन प्लस वन मैनस वन डिवेड बै टू वन मॉड पी नौ वन मैनस वन इज जीरो फोर एन प्लस टू इज टू सो मैनस वन रेस टू टू एन वन मॉड पी नौ मैनस वन रेस टू टू एन इज टू एन इज ईवन नंबर मैनस वन रेस टू ईवन नंबर इज प्लस वन वन एंड वन आर् कांग्रेट टू मॉड पी नौ वन मैनस वन इज जीरो पी आ पी डिवेड जीरो वी नो दैट एनी नंबर कैन डिवेड जीरो सो दिस इज करेक्ट सो वी कैन रेप्रजेंट पी इज ईक्वल टू फोर एन प्लस वन देन वाट इज फोर एन If we represent p as four n plus one, what is four n? Four n is equal to p minus one. Similarly, if what is n? N is p minus one by four. What did this says? This says that four divides p minus one. Uh, by the property of congruences, we know that if a and b are congruent to mod n, implies that n divides a minus b. If n divides a minus b, we can write a equation of congruences a and b are a and b are congruent to mod n. Similarly, here four divides p minus one, so we can write it as p and one are congruent to mod four. <laughs> so by this we can say that if x square plus 1 and 0 mod p has a solution if and only if p and 1 are congruent to mod 4 if we consider if we assume conversely p is consider p is a prime of form p and 1 are congruent to mod 4 then we have to prove that x square plus 1 and 0 mod p we have to prove this if p and 1 are congruent to mod 4 now what is p minus 1 factorial p minus 1 factorial what is p minus 1 factorial 1 into 2 into 3 into up to p minus p minus Uh, p is odd prime since p minus 1 is even number if we divide it by 2 then it comes between 1 and p minus 1 and the next number is p plus 1 by 2 if p is odd number if we add it to 1 then it becomes even so it is divisible by 2 it give an gives an integer it is lies between 1 and p minus 1 and up to p minus 2 Into p minus one. This is p minus one factorial. Because if any number of factorial, if we take four factorial, how can we write one into two into three into four? It is four factorial. No. Similarly, p minus one factorial is one into two into up to p minus one. This is p minus one factorial. Now. we since this is same the p minus 1 factorial is equal to this so we can write this in terms of congruences p minus 1 factorial congruent to 1 2 3 3 p minus 1 2 into p plus 1 by 2 p minus 
into p minus 1 mod p because this is same as this so what the remainder this leaves so the same remainder this leaves so we can write this in terms of congruences now what is p minus 1 congruent to mod p minus 1 because if we divide p minus 1 it leaves by p it leaves minus 1 as a remainder 1 if we multiply 1 then p into 1 is p p minus p is 0 and this is minus 1 minus 1 is remainder so this is here so we can if we divide minus 1 by p that is also remainder minus 1 so p minus 1 and minus 1 are congruent to mod p we can write this this type the same way we can write p minus 2 and minus 2 are congruent to mod p the same way p minus 3 and minus 3 are congruent to mod p consider p plus 1 by 2 now p plus 1 by 2 what is p plus 1 by 2 p plus 1 by 2 is p by 2 plus 1 by 2 how can we represent p by 2 we can represent p by 2 by p minus p by 2 plus 1 by 2 now p minus if we take bracket p by 2 minus 1 by 2 if we break the bracket then it becomes p minus p by 2 minus into minus becomes plus and 1 by 2 so we can write it this time so p plus 1 by 2 can be written as p minus 2 is same here and p minus 1 by 2 p minus p minus 1 by 2 so here p minus p minus 1 by 2 is congruent to in the same way we can write minus p minus 1 by 2 mod p now what is p minus p minus 1 by 2 here p plus 1 by 2 so in the place of in the place of this we can write p plus 1 by 2 congruent to minus 1 p minus 1 by 2 mod p now we can write p minus 1 factorial p minus 1 factorial congruent to 1 into 2 into up to p minus 1 by 2 what is in the place of p plus 1 by 2 p plus 1 by 2 is congruent to minus p minus 1 by 2 mod p here also mod p here also mod p for so we can write instead of p plus 1 by 2 minus p minus 1 by 2 so minus we can write minus p minus 1 by 2 now up to in the place of p minus 2 what we can write p in the place of p minus 2 instead of p minus 2 we can write minus 2 because here also mod p here also mod p so in the place of p minus 2 we can write minus 2 and in the place of minus 1 in the place of p minus 1 we can write minus 1 mod p so p minus 1 factorial and this are congruent to mod p can be written as this type now p minus 1 factorial and here 1 into 2 into up to p minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 is common in all these terms so we can write minus 1 
here minus 1 is repeated 1 2 up to p minus 1 by 2 times so minus 1 raised to p minus 1 by 2 now into this is p minus 1 by 2 into up to plus 2 plus 1 mod p now p minus 1 factorial is congruent to 1 into 1 is 1 square 2 into 2 is 2 square up to p minus 1 by 2 here also this is same as this so we can write this as 1 into 2 into up to p minus 1 by 2 square so this is same as this so we can multiply and we can write it as 1 to p minus 1 by 2 square and minus 1 raised to p minus 1 by 2 now what is we are assume that p and 1 are congruent to mod 4 what is this means 4 divides p minus 1 this implies that 4n is equal to p minus 1 so p can be written as 4n plus 1 if we put this 4n plus 1 in the place of this what we can get p minus 1 factorial and 1 2 into up to p minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 in the place of p 4n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 then mod p here also mod p in the place of this p minus 1 we, in the place of p we can put 4n plus 1 and then p minus 1 factorial and we can represent this as x and this is x square into minus 1 raised to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 and 4n by 2 is 2n mod p now p minus 1 factorial and x square this is even number so minus 1 raised to even is plus so this uh, this becomes a plus 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 so this is plus 1 so x square into 1 is x square mod p now by wilson theorem what did wilson theorem says wilson theorem says that if p is prime then p minus 1 factorial and minus 1 the mod p in the place of p minus 1 factorial we can put minus 1 then minus 1 and x square mod p if we add both side 1 then we get 0 x square plus 1 mod p we can write this as x square plus 1 0 mod p this is the proof